But we'll go through it. Here we go. Let's go through it. Individual matches, starting with the top section of the draw. Here it is. In all its glory, the draw. We have Pushkova getting a buy in the first round. That is a good start for her. She gets the first round win. She's the top seed, by the way. Uh, she'll be playing the winner of Sheng or McNally in the second round. So those two are going at it in the first round. Then you've got Sharif versus Conte, uh, versus sorry Sharif versus Kovinic. Winner of that plays Podoroska. So you can see third round between Podoroska and Pliskova. Let's go up a little bit further. So you've got Contevate getting a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of a qualifier or Buzkova in the second round. Then you've got Risk versus a qualifier. Winner plays Andrescu. And you can see Pliskova versus Andrescu could be a fourth round match, which is a very good fourth round match. Then we have Jabor. Versing nobody in the first round, she gets a bye. Winner of that play, uh, sorry, uh, she will be awaiting the winner of Sevastova and Hercog. And then you've got Davis versus uh, Parizas. Winner of that plays Collins. And Colin, uh, Jabor is definitely a player to watch out for in this tournament. She is in great form, of course, having won, uh, having got to the final of Chicago last week. Watch out for Jabor. All right, now we've got Tormo, and this is where it gets exciting. Tormo. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of the wild card, Lou, or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Von Drosova versus, or Von Drusova versus Golovic. Winner plays Sarkari in the second round. Very tough match for Sarkari, even if it's Von, if it's Von Drusova. And Sarkari versus Jabor could be a fourth round match. Andrescu or Pliskova versus Jabor or, or Sarkari in the quarterfinals. Very fun matchups there, potentially, uh, if we get them. Now, let's go to the second quarter of the draw. We've got Krejcikova. She gets a bye. Winner of that match... Oh, sorry. Uh, she awaits the winner of the match between Habino and a qualifier. Then we've got Anisimova versus a wildcard Scott. Winner of that plays Georgie in the second round. Then you've got Georgie versus Krejcikova, who could be playing in the third round. Then we have Bedosa. She gets a bye in the first round. Uh, she awaits the winner of Giacomo or Yastremska, who are going out in the first round. Then you've got Garcia taking on a qualifier. Winner of that plays Coco Goff, which means Bedosa and Goff could be playing each other in the third round. Uh, and then, of course, the winner of this part of the draw will be playing against uh, Krejcikova or Georgie. So we could be getting a fourth round between Krejcikova and Goff. Defending finalist Kerber, she is again getting a buy in the first round. Sinia Kova is taking on uh, wildcard Kleisters in the first round. So that's a tough matchup for Kim Kleisters, and then she might have to play Angie Kerber in the second round. Uh, Kerber Kleisters would be a lot of fun. That'd be a lot of fun to see. A couple of uh, players, and I'm sure they've played a bunch of times before, but yeah, that'd be a fun match to see. Uh, Vekic takes on a qualifier. Winner of that plays against Kazakina in the second round. Kazakina Kerber could be a third round if that matches up correctly. All right. <laughs> Zedeshek. She awaits the winner of uh, Shvedlova or Konju in the second round. Then you've got to qualify versus Tomanovic. Winner of that plays Muguruza in the second round, the fifth seed. So uh, Muguruza and Kerber could be a fourth round matchup. This part of the draw takes on the goff Krejcikova section of the draw. So we could be getting a replay of the feisty matchup between Krejcikova and Muguruza. So unprofessional. So unprofessional. We should be seeing that. But also, don't forget, this section of the draw also plays against, in the semifinals, potentially, we could be getting Muguruza versus Sarkari. Muguruza versus Andrescu. Krejcikova versus Jabor. Pushkiva versus Muguruza. Goff versus any of those. All right, bottom half of the draw. This is where things get really interesting. Top of the bottom half of the draw is fire. Section five is ridiculous. You've got Kvitova, number seven in the world. Or sorry, number seven seed. Buying the first round, she takes on the winner of Rus or a qualifier. Then you've got Lynette versus Pedersen. Winner of that versus Azarenka. So straight away, you can see Azarenka versus Kvitova. Third round matchup. Very exciting there. But this is where things get... And I know a lot of you have stayed up for this. The US Open champion, Radu Kanu, 17th seed in this one. And she gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Sansnovich or... Uh, Serrano in the first, in the second round. Then you've got Kostiak versus Zhang. Winner of that versus Halep. And there you go. Halep, Raducanu. Could be a third round matchup. And don't forget, the winner of this section plays against Kvitova or Azarenka potentially. So there you go. It could be Raducanu, Halep. 
and then Radu Kanyo, uh, Radu Kanyo versus Azarenka. That could happen. Back to back. It's a tough draw. This is a tough section of the draw, um, but also a very fun section. Section five. Let's keep going. We got Mertens taking on uh, a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualies going at it in the first round. Heather Watson. People are asking. She plays Sloane Stevens in the first round. Oof, that's tough. Then uh, winner of that plays Pagula, which is also tough in the second round. So Mertens Pagula could be playing in the third round. That one. Let's keep going. We've got Castella. She gets a. She's the last seed in the draw. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Lee or Doi, who are going at it in the first round. Then you got Martin Kova versus again uh, versus the wild card Kruger. Winner of that takes on Svetolina, the fourth seed. And remember, this part of the draw takes on the stacked part of the draw. So we could be getting Svetolina versus Raducanu in the quarterfinals, which was what happened at the US Open. So we could be getting a replay of that. Let's keep going. We got the gold medalist at the Olympic, Bencic. She'll take on either Rogers or Kalanini in the second round. Uh, then we got Bagu versus Ferro. Winner of that plays Teichman. So a couple of Swiss players in could be playing in the third round. Teichman versus Bencic. If they both win their matches in the second rounds. Fernandez. There she is. A lot of people are asking about Fernandez. She gets a buy in the first round, the 23rd seed. Good. She's got a good, good little draw as well. Uh, she'll play either Cornet or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Kanepi versus Keys. Winner of that plays Pavlachenkova in the second round. Pavlachenkova versus Fernandez. You would say on recent form, Fernandez wins that match. Pavlachenkova hasn't been great since the French Open. So Fernandez should be loving her little part of the draw there. Let's keep it going. We've got Rabakina. She gets a bye in the first round. She takes on either Pe uh, Putin Seba or Pekovic in the second round. Then we've got Brengel versus Shea. Winner of that plays Ostapenko in the second round. So Ostapenko versus Rabakina could happen but i feel like this section of the draw is not straightforward because we know shea is a difficult opponent putting severs in form made a final last week rabakin is the favorite and should should win this part of the draw but i don't know i feel like we're going to get some upsets in this part kudamatova she'll take on either a qualifier or samsonova in the second round then we've got volley nets versus martich winner of that plays against sviontek uh sorry so the the part of the draw we just saw will be playing this part of the draw so Sviontek, the bottom quarter, the very bottom of the draw, she will be taking on. Um, she's got a good draw. Sviontek's got a good draw. Kunimatova potentially in the uh, in the third round. Uh, Martic is a tough opponent in the second round. Uh, she could be playing Rabakina in the uh, uh, in the fourth round. And then Fernandez, by the way, Fernandez Bencic could be a fourth round. I forgot to mention that too. So there you go. There's the draw. Thank you, whoever retweeted that at me or added me at, at me on Twitter. Let's keep answering questions, though. Answer my question! The question, sir. Hopefully the draw tomorrow will be a bit more uh, organized because, uh, yeah. Indian Wells have been a bit sloppy. We only had... we. I don't know where we, you got this from, guys, but Indian Wells haven't even released the draw yet. 